I'm going to move down to folder number 14. It's trending stocks and groups. Uh, this is something that I came up with about a year ago, and my thinking was uh, I would uh, create a scorecard view based upon a combo rank uh, of the industry percentage price change one day. Now, this is information from uh, the prior evening, and you can see that uh, there is only one stock in here which fits a criteria, and the criteria is that all three of the best fit views have to be moving up the long term, the medium term, and the short term. And uh, the industry percentage price change uh, has to be, well, let me open it up. Let's look at the filter. So the requirements are that these three trends be moving up and the EMA fan trend also has to be up. I didn't put a requirement in here that the group had to be up also, but uh, the strongest groups as of the previous day's download will come to the top of the list. And you can see that the industry percentage price change one day yesterday was up 3.08%, followed by 2.61%, and that would be healthcare facilities. There's three stocks in here. And if you look over to the right, you'll see that all three of the healthcare facilities stocks had uh, best fit trends up, and also the fan would be up or is up. And then these groups are up the most, just going in descending order. So if I go down to generic pharma, you can see that it was up 1.96%. And for over five days, it's been up 3.37%. This column right here is five days. This is one day. Now, what's nice about this is I can do this intraday. And uh, I'm going to go into the designer. And I'm going to go to the industries and sectors. I'll click on industries just take any filter off to show you that the industries are in here. And then I'm going under my tools menu and I'm going to select rebuild indexes in group. So my data is uh, up to date using Thinkorswim. And uh, uh, what I'm going to find out here is uh, when I go back uh, to that uh, list of stocks, we're going to find out which groups are on top today. OK, you can see that doesn't take very long. Now I want to go back to all securities. Click back here and make sure my filter is engaged. And uh, this shows me that uh, this group, electrical power equipment, is up 6.9%. I'm doing this on October 30th, by the way. And renewable energy uh, products, projects, the group is up 2.54%. But notice there's only one stock in each one of these. If I look over here at the intraday range, it shows me which stocks are holding up pretty well. Let's go down here to the intraday view. And... Uh, I'm still sorted on industry percentage price change one day. It doesn't matter uh, if this is really an end of day combo because I've updated and uh, I, I just did an update with intraday data. So it thinks that uh, this is uh, the end of day number. It's actually the intraday number, but you can see that uh, nothing has changed here. If I go back, to the prior view, you can see electrical power, renewable energy project, infrastructure construction. If I go down to the intraday view, these are all in the same order because I, I just updated. Now we can see which of these stocks are following through today uh, to the upside. The market's uh, a little bit positive now, almost flat for the day. So the intraday view agrees with the end of day view. 
because they're one and the same because of the updating. So let's go down here. Let's see what's infra infrastructure, infrastructure construction, consumer electronics, security, precious metal, and mining has has three. Large pharma has three. So these are the groups that are showing some strength, and these are the stocks within those groups that are exhibiting uh, best fit trends to the upside, and also the fan is up. So I'm going to bring this this uh, stock up. It's uh, AstraZeneca. You can see that uh, all of the indexes are up, and uh, the fan will be up too. That's kind of a sloppy looking chart. Crocs is a stock I mentioned on the, the board when it was just coming out of this cup right here. It moved up. I uh, sold some options on it, uh, so I made money as it went up, and they reported earnings today, and the earnings were uh, very good. And you can see it's in the apparel, footwear, and accessory group, and uh, it, of course, is uh, leading the way at uh, 1289. So um, this this is good for end of day and intraday, and uh, this is just the opposite. Stocks down in groups. Uh, this would be current since I've updated, and uh, renewable energy equipment uh, is uh, having uh, kind of a rough day today. ENPH, uh, which I've been in and out of, unfortunately I'm out of now, uh, reported uh, today, and they're in this group. And uh, it's uh, been hit pretty hard. You can see there are some buyers coming into it now. It was stopping volume. Uh, but they, they beat revenue and earnings, uh, yet they got hit uh, very hard. I noticed yesterday that the uh, puts were the uh, dominant uh, options that were being played, very few calls, and uh, uh, somebody was anticipating something. Anyway, that's why Ocean Power Tech is down. It's in the uh, same group, and uh, you can see that uh, this has been pretty weak. I'm going to continue to watch this stock. Uh, other buyers uh, or buyers are coming in, and uh, it, uh, it may reverse itself. That's it for uh, this video. Uh, I'll uh, move on to uh, something else and uh, plug away these videos until I uh, get them all finished.